This is the download from Sounds Profitable, your daily source for the essential news in the business of podcasting, brought to you by Spreaker from iHeart. I'm Gavin Gaddis. Here's what you need to know for today, Wednesday, November 20th. First up, podcasting is global. Research should be too. With podcasting's wide growth as a medium, it's time to acknowledge that while the United States is one of the largest podcast markets, the industry should not consider it the default when doing research on podcasting overall. Local cultural and socioeconomic factors influence how and why people consume podcasts and engage with advertisers, which means extrapolating findings from one part of the world to another market won't work well. For example, YouTube is lauded as one of the top platforms for consuming podcasts in the United States, while Australian data from Triton Digital's Podcast Metrics Demo Plus survey shows Spotify's firmly in the lead down under. As podcasting continues its growth, a global outlook for research is vital. Up next, Roger Sports and Media lays off dozens of workers in audio business. Roger Sports and Media has announced it laid off several dozen employees on the audio side of the company, citing uncertainty in the current ad market. Official coverage from CBC reports a spokesperson from Rogers said there will be no station closures and the company has no plans to cut programming or podcasts. Recent posts on LinkedIn by former Frequency Podcast Network members shows layoffs have affected the podcast side of Rogers. Next up, how brands are redefining creativity in podcast ads. A broad look at modern podcast advertising that then drills down to examples of campaigns and strategies implemented by companies like Odyssey and Tenderfoot TV. Tactics include next-generation host-read ads like Tenderfoot TV's up-and-vanished Liquid IV ads that used audio fiction-level sound design and built a narrative around the host using Liquid IV while researching the season's stories in Alaska, which elevated a simple host read into what feels like content from the show. For Visual Pop, the article highlights Odyssey's enhanced video units that add animations, graphics, and URLs and QR codes to standard video podcast host-read segments. Next up, Apple Podcasts Top Shows for 2024 by James Cridland at Pod News. Apple Podcasts has published their most popular podcast of 2024 with a year-end chart localized for several countries and regions around the world. The charts can be found in the Browse tab of Apple Podcasts until the end of the year. This includes top overall podcasts, top new debuts, most followed, most shared, and top free and subscriber channels. Pod News has built the top 10 overall podcasts from the US, Canada, UK, Australia, Ireland, and New Zealand, as well as directly linked every chart. While the official press release claims localized charts exist for over 100 countries, Pod News was only able to find and link 33. And finally, BBC Studios taps Triton Digital to scale global audio growth outside the UK. The new partnership will bring the BBC Studios audio catalog to the Triton Digital audio marketplace for markets outside the UK. BBC Audio, Digital News and Streaming SVP Luis Lagrange says in the official press release, the decision is motivated by global audiences turning to podcasts for news, insights and entertainment. With the Triton partnership, BBC Studios can amplify growth efforts outside of their home territory. As for the rest of the news, Triton Digital has released their Australian podcast ranker for October 2024. Podscribe has announced their Q3 2024 performance benchmarks report with a debut webinar set for next Wednesday. Libsyn has announced an exclusive advertising partnership with Humble Brag with Crystal and Cynthia of NV Media. OSHA has released two new tools, PSO Checker and PSO Live Search, and Adobe Podcast has released Enhanced Speech version 2. Be sure to check out the links to every article mentioned right in your podcast listening app or at soundsprofitable.com where you can also subscribe to the newsletter version. The download is written and produced by Newton Shottlecotty, Brian Barletta, Tom Webster, and myself. This episode is hosted on Spreaker. For Sounds Profitable, I'm Gavin Gaddis. Download us again tomorrow. Tomorrow.